Do you ever wonder, what was the main inspiration source for Assassin's Creed game? In this video, I will try to briefly tell you about this source and compare it to the Assassin's Creed. The main source of inspiration for Assassin's Creed was novel of Slovenian writer Vladimir Bartol called Alamut. Alamut, just like Assassin's Creed, takes place in medieval Middle East. The plot also concentrated on the Ismaili sect of assassins, but assassins described a bit differently in the novel. In the novel, assassins, it is a small squad in garrison of Alamut. They are young students and warriors, and their only purpose is to sacrifice themselves in the battle for Ismaili cause. I'm telling you, it's rats. No, it's children. I hear in Assassin's Creed, assassins sacrifice themselves by doing a leap of fate. However, as we saw in a game, it was just a trick to induce fear into enemy soldiers. My men do not fear death, Robert. They welcome it and the rewards it brings. Good. Then they shall have it all around. Follow me and do so without hesitation. Show this fool knight what it is to have no fear. Go to God! In the Alamut, mentor of assassins ordered one of them to jump off the high tower to his death. And he do that without any doubts. Mentor achieved such level of obedience by deceiving his soldiers. He gave them drugs to numb them and afterwards ordered that they be carried into the gardens behind the fortress which were made into a simulation of heaven. So his soldiers truly believed in heaven after that. There are plants, Altair. Herbs from distant lands that can cause a man to take leave of his senses. So great are the pleasures it brings, men may even become enslaved by it. You think these men were drugged then? Poisoned? Yes, if it truly was as you describe it. Herbs. This seems a strange method of control. Our enemies have accused me of the same. The promise of paradise. They think it is a garden, overflowing with women and pleasure. But I drug you as Garnier did his men, and tempt you with his rewards. They do not know the truth of it. Which is how it must be. But if they knew the truth of it, that all we seek is peace. Then they would not fear us, and we would have no hold over them. Go. You can't find any parkour, hoods, hidden blades or white cloaks in the novel. To reach target, assassins were using ordinary and unnoticeable clothes. Instead of huge hidden blades, assassins were using blades disguised as daily items like ink writing pen. These blades were often poisoned to kill a victim even faster, so no sword fights and knife ruin. Assassins in the novel were not using parkour to get close to their target. They were simply using disguise. In the novel, one of the assassins were using identity of enemy soldier. He was not just looking like him, he also learned his biography and habits. Assassin just completely stole his identity. The assassin's motto, nothing is true and everything is permitted, was also taken from the book. It sounds a bit differently. Nothing is an absolute reality, all is permitted. In the novel, this is a main doctrine of Ismailis. However, a leader of Ismailis chose to tell them what main doctrine is to obey commands of your mentor. Before you go, I have a question for you. Of course. What is the truth? We place faith in ourselves. We see the world the way it really is, and hope that one day all mankind might see the same. What is the world, then? An illusion. One which we can either submit to, as most do, or transcend. What is it to transcend? To recognize nothing is true and everything is permitted. That laws arise not from divinity but reason. I understand now that our creed does not command us to be free. It commands us to be wise. And that's all I think. If you're a fan of the first Assassin's Creed, I definitely recommend you to read this book. It translated in many different languages and you can easily find it on the net.